far. What am I making? I just don't even remember. So today we're gonna be making a classic nightcap that I am personally making in honor of every single spider in my apartment. Do you know how many there are? There's about six million. Honestly, it's just disturbing. So this is called the white spider, and what you're gonna need is some handy dandy vodka and some extra handy dandy peppermint schnurps. And we're gonna do one and a quarter ounces of vodka and three fourths ounces of our best friend schnurps of the peppermint variety. And that is legitimately all that you need for this drink other than ice to shake it up with. Are you ready to shake it? chilly. It smells pepperminty, which is not too shocking. Mmm, peppermint. It's definitely not the prettiest drink we've ever made, but it does kind of look exactly like water, so that's fun. It is strong. It's only alcohol, but you know, at least it's only two ounces of alcohol. Two ounces. And this can spell danger for a lot of people. Oh, okay, let's try it. Oh, it's so minty. <sighs> Oh, that's good. I'm so happy because I feel like the last couple drinks have not been my thing. This is really good. This is like success. Cheers. I would have this as a nightcap for sure. And in this chilled glass, doesn't it kind of look like a magical icicle? Like you're drinking ice nectar, which would be water, so... <laughs> So I'm assuming that um, in the next couple of days, my arm is going to be better again. I have much more movement than I did last week. You won't have to suffer through this much longer, I promise. All this hat wearing. So many hats. So what have you guys been up to? I have been playing Chrono Trigger because I could no longer vagrant story my life. This is amazing, oh my god. Like, I would drink so much of this. It's like just minty goodness. I don't wanna say it's like drinking toothpaste, but that would actually be disgusting, and this is really good. Anyway, Chrono Trigger, it's just really good. Starts off very basic, and then all of a sudden it goes to this other place, and you're like, no, it's so good. Never ever end. Speaking of role-playing games, this might be the nerdiest thing you've ever heard in your life, but me and my roommate are starting to, to <laughs> how do I say this? Oh my god, it's good. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. Oh, I want to cry. It's so good. Me and my friend were starting to kind of put a game together that's kind of like D&D, &D, less complicated. And so I'm, I'm writing the rules and we're practicing and, you know, I'm getting suggestions from people and, and we're trying to put this whole thing together and basically we're trying to make an easier version of Dungeons and Dragons so the, the DM, the dungeon master, can create an entire world for this particular type of gameplay versus Dungeons and Dragons where there's like books and things that already have quests in them so you don't have to do that much. This is amazing. Look at look at that pure goodness. It look it's like okay, I know it's not a color, it's just clear, but isn't it kind of like weirdly really pretty because it's frosty? It's frosty. Frosty. It's the schnurps. I can't help it. It's the schnurps. Don't you schnurps on my parade? Oh, schnurps, light of my life. So anyway, that's been taking up a lot of my free time, trying to write these rules and get the gameplay nice and solid, and I've already been developing my own world based on these rules. I don't know that we'll ever actually get to that point, because I'm not DMing right away. My roommate's gonna DM first, and she's building a really cool world that I'm excited to play and learn all about. Out. If that works and we find enough people to play with us, then maybe one day I will debut my own world building venture. But for now, it's just really fun. I like world building. That's like the thing that I do. I really want to finish this so I could eat lunch, but I just, I, I don't want to rush it because it's really tasty. And I'm so happy that it's so tasty. So how many spiders are in your apartment? I've got this one right here, uh, which is slowly going into my belly. That sounds disgusting. I have a spider slowly going into my belly. And other than that, I think I have about 
16,000 spider-based residents in my apartment. I kill about 17 a day and they just pop up again. They're like, I didn't even kill them. They're just like, hey, and I'm like, didn't I kill you yesterday? And they're like, oh yeah, but like, I'm fine now. Am I doing it? Am I, am I Instagramming? Is this right? Do I need more, do I need more mouth? Bring me alone, and not a sound in dying. Whoa, Skills. I gotta say, this goes down pretty easy, even if you are not a fan of hard alcohol. This just tastes exactly like peppermint and nothing else. I feel like I'm drinking special water. So I'm getting toward my last sips. I'm very sad. This was delicious. And I feel like I brushed my teeth, kind of. I'm like, my whole esophagus feels very minty. I feel like that's some kind of innuendo, but I'm not sure in what way. Just the word esophagus and minty. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, for today, my book is very sadly closed. I have nothing more to teach you and nothing more to learn. I'm not happy about it. Don't ask me to be happy about it. That was delicious. I am very sad. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you at the very least by next Thursday. Bye! I'm too sad to wave goodbye properly.